guys. Sorry about that. If you got the last video, it just lasted for a couple seconds. Um, just wanted to tell you, thank you for joining us. Um, we're going to do gentle yoga today with Barefoot Beach and Inner Light, Inner Light Yoga. I'm Melissa. Um, what we'll need today is a block. If you don't have a block, you can use a shoe block, even a blanket and um, a towel for your face, your mat. If you don't have a mat, you can use a beach towel or a blanket, anything that you have around your house will work. Um, today we'll start in a seated position. Just start with a short meditation. Bring your hands up to your knees. You can have them in a receiving position, or if you feel you can place them on your, on your knees, holding your knees, maybe come to a mudra, Whatever feels comfortable for you this morning. Sit up with a nice tall spine. Let your shoulders relax down your back. Maybe even close your eyes here. Let's just focus on our breath. Focus on within. Ignore all the sounds coming from the outside. Start to clear your mind. Relaxing your body from head to toe all the way through your chakras. We'll start from our crown work our way to our third eye, down to your throat, and into your heart, to your solar plexus, your sacral area, and all the way down to your root. A nice, tall channel of air to breathe in and out through. Breathing in and out again through your nose, Deep breaths, fill your lungs, inhale, and then exhale. Release all the air back down into your belly. Inhale, big breath. Once you're at the top, let's hold it for about three seconds. Start to control our breath. And exhale. We'll do this a few more times. Inhale, breathe in. And hold. Exhale. Make sure you're breathing in and out through your nose, keeping your mouth closed. Hold. And exhale. Still your mind. Anything that you might be thinking of, just let it go. We'll focus on this one hour for practice. Deep breath in. And exhale, breathe out. We're going to keep this breath throughout our entire practice. Inhale. You don't need to hold it anymore. Exhale. But restrict off the back of your throat. Create an audible sound as you exhale, breathing out. Deep breath in. get started keeping your palms on your knees you can open your eyes we're just going to take some neck rolls back and forth right to left finding movement in your spine and your neck loosening everything up from waking up being in your bed all day or all all evening i guess i should say And meeting back at center, let's drop our ear to our right shoulder. So right ear to right shoulder. We'll hold for just a moment. Bring it back up to center. Exhale over to the other side. Left ear, left shoulder. Side. So let's drop it to the right. Exhale as you lower. 
And then bring it back up to center. Inhale and exhale. Breathe out. back to center. Let's plant our left hand into the mat. Right hand's going to reach all the way over. Bend into your left elbow and stretch. Opening your side body. Separating those ribs. Inhale back up and exhale. Release your right hand down to the mat. We'll raise the left hand. Inhale. Come up. And exhale over. Bending into your right elbow this time. And exhale through heart center. You can do three of these. Inhale up. Gather all that air. And exhale. Breathe it out. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Dropping your hands. This time come up. Inhale. Twist to the right, left hand goes to right knee. Take your gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale back to center. And exhale over to the other side. Right hand to left knee this time. Make sure you're nice and tall. You don't want to be slouched into it. So nice and tall, pressing through your fingers gazing over your left shoulder. Inhale, let's come back to center, winding our arms around. And exhale, hands through heart center. We're going to bring our bodies forward. And exhale, drop your hands to the floor. Bring your head close to your knees or your shins. This may be a little tight, feel a little tight in your hips. It's okay to be, dis to be uncomfortable, just no pain. So if you are feeling pain, just kind of ease up on it a little bit. Walk your hands back up. And we'll meet at center. Let's roll over onto our knees here. Bring your right foot out to the side. Arms are going to come up. Inhale. And then as we exhale, take your side over to the right. Both arms over to the right. Maybe using your right hand to balance on your shin. Just another deep stretch. A little bit longer this time. Inhale, come back up. We'll place our left hand onto the mat. Raise your right hand up for a modified plank. And you can stay here. If you choose, you can raise your leg. Bringing it parallel with your hip, ankles, knee, everything's parallel. And exhale, we'll release our foot down. Wind back up and come to center. We'll switch sides now. Drop your right knee to the mat. We'll extend our left foot out to the side. Both arms are going to come up. And exhale over to the left side. Again, using your left hand onto your shin if you need for balance. Inhale back to center. We're going to take it down right hand over to the mat, keeping your left hand extended towards the sky, and your toes can remain on the mat, or you can bring it back up to be parallel with your hip. Exhale, let's release our foot down, and then inhale, come all the way back up, hands through heart center. And we'll pull that left leg back in. We'll turn to where we're on the long, long side of the mat this time. 
planting your hands flat into the mat, knees and hips are parallel, flat back here, inhale, drop your belly, raise your, your chin, your gaze goes up for cow pose. And then as you exhale, press through your palms, separate your shoulder blades and bring your chin to your chest for cat. So you look like a black cat or I guess any color cat you would see on Halloween or whatever. Inhale, chin comes up, belly lowers, and exhale, roll it out. Do this with your own breath about three or four more times and then we'll meet back at center with a nice flat spine. Remember to use your core, pull in when you round out, and then exhale. Inhale for cow, and then exhale, bring it back to center. Keeping your left hand planted into the mat, we're going to extend our right leg. nice and long. Let's see. I might need to move my camera back just a little bit so you guys can see. So if you're in this pose, go ahead and hold it for a moment. Make sure you get all of that mat in there. Tripod's not working great with me today. There we go. Exhale. Go ahead and release your right foot down to the mat. We're back at tabletop. We'll extend our left leg this time. Bring it all the way back. Make sure your toes are pointed down. Your hip is close, so you don't want to be up like this. You want to keep it flat. And hold. Three more breaths. Remember, your back is flat here. Your core is pulled in nice and tight, so your belly button, you want to pull it as close to your spine as you can. Don't forget your breath. In and out. Mindful breathing. Exhale. Let's release down. Plant your left hand in the center of the mat. We'll widen our knees just a little bit. Inhale. Raise your right hand all the way up to the sky. Twist. And then thread the needle, bring your hand in between your arm, come down onto your shoulder, or shoulder stretch. Left hand comes back, pressing through your palm. Inhale. And exhale. We'll drop our right hand down to the center of the mat this time. Same thing, opposite side. Inhale as you raise your left hand up. Take your gaze up. Couple breaths. And exhale. Thread the needle underneath your arm. Extend your right hand out towards the front. For a shoulder stretch. all the way back to the center of the mat as we inhale, raise back up, and then exhale, meet it back down at center. Curl your toes under, we're going to extend up into a downward facing dog here. You have a nice flat back, it's like an upside down V. Walk your heels closer to the mat. Your calves may be a little tight at first, and as we go through the practice, they'll stretch out a little bit deeper with each pose. Coming back to center, let's drop our knees down to the mat. Bring your toes together, drop your heels, your hips back towards your heels, and then extend your arms here, coming into the, uh, child's pose.
Inhale, lift halfway, and then walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. Maybe even take your right hand over the top, or your left hand over the top of your right hand. Inhale as you walk your hands back to center. And then as you walk them over to the left side to do the same thing, exhale, taking your right hand over the top of your left. And your next inhale will walk back to center. And then exhale, release down. Focusing back on your breath. And then walking your hands up. We'll push back through to that tabletop pose. Curl your toes under, downward facing dog. And then walk your feet all the way up towards your hands. Release down to the mat. For a forward fold. Grab opposite elbows here. Let your head hang and let your spine be long. Your knees can be bent. So as you see, I have a slight bend into my knees. And just let your head fall. Let everything fall. Just go side to side, right doll. Letting your arms come down, we'll reverse swan dive. Bring it all the way up. Inhale. And then exhale, hands through, heart center. Summer sticking deep. Alright, bring it down, mountain pose. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Two more times. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Arms come up. Inhale. We're going to drop our right hand down to the side and exhale. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, drop your left hand down to the side and stretch. Back to center. Let's twist here. Right hand's going to go back. Try to keep your hips square and just use your upper body to twist. Your gaze is over your right shoulder. Keep your arms level with your shoulders. Swoop your right hand back around, bring it up, and do the opposite side. Left one goes over, twist, gaze is behind you. And then winding your arm back around. Upward salute, take your gaze up. Maybe if you want, go ahead and put a swipe in in your back. Inhale to center, and then exhale. Let's hinge at our hips here, going to our forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, let's plant our hands, go straight into downward dog, or you can flow through a vinyasa, coming into a high plank, lowering halfway, chaturanga. Inhale as you come up for upward facing dog, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Again, making sure your gaze is at your shins. Your palms are pressed firmly into the mat. Fingertips, palms. To avoid damage to your wrists. Step your right foot up. Bring your left foot up. And lift halfway. Exhale, fold. 
and then inhale as you come all the way up, Sun Salutation A, Surya Namaskar A, hands back to center, arms come up, inhale, and exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back, gazes forward, exhale, plant your hands, again, step back to downward dog or flow through a vinyasa, lowering halfway, inhale up, exhale down. This time we'll step our left foot up first. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Hands through, heart center, and exhale. Mountain pose. Arms come up this time. Inhale. Bring your hands to center. We're going to do a side bend. Hold it, maybe go a little deeper. Keep your arms close to your ears. Inhale up. Exhale to the other side. Nice straight arms here. Maybe a little bit deeper. And back to center. Exhale through heart center. Hinge at your hips and fold. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, plant your hands, step it back, downward dog. We'll lift our right leg up, three leg dog. Step it to the outside of your right hand. We're gonna come to a low lunge, so drop your left knee to the mat, and then inhale, raise up. Your arms are tall, your knee and the ankle are parallel. Nice 90 degree bend. Twist, right hand goes back. Wind it around. And then exhale, drop your hands. We're gonna curl our toes under on our left leg and come up to a low runner lunge. So a little bit deeper lunge. Maybe even, how about we drop our elbows? You can drop your elbows here if you choose. And if you're not there, honor your body. Just, you can stay up like this too. Just getting a deep stretch on your left thigh. You'll really feel it. And it opens up your hip as well. Plant your left hand into the mat. Drop your knee on the left foot. And then raise your hand. Right hand comes up for another twist. Reach back for your foot and then roll your shoulder. It's a really deep stretch. You can use a towel to wrap around your foot. I should have demonstrated that first, but I'll demonstrate it on the next side. If you can't quite reach your toes yet, bring your arms up, drop your foot, and exhale. Let's plant our hands, curl your toes under, and step back to a downward facing dog. We'll do the other side this time. Left leg comes up, three leg dog. And step it forward to the outside of your right, left hand. Drop your right foot, and inhale, come up. We'll swing our left arm around, twist. Wind it back around and drop your right hand. Left hand goes up, gaze goes up. This time, grab your towel if you need it to wrap around your foot. Once you have a hold of it, roll your shoulder back. Take your gaze up. Let your left knee fall out to the side. And go ahead and 
drop your towel. We'll drop our hands down. Curl your right toes under. We're going to be raised up here. And again, you can stay right here. Stretching through your thigh, or if you want a deeper stretch, drop down to your elbows for grasshopper. Pressing through your palms, raise up, step your left foot back, downward facing dog. Walk your heels out just a little bit more. And then raise your right leg up. Three leg dog, we're gonna step it through in between our hands and then raise up for a high lunge. Your toes are pointed forward your left heel is raised, your arms are up, let your shoulders relax down. And hold. Step your left foot up to meet your right, coming into chair pose, and then hover your right foot, step it back. Again, high lunge, opposite side. Your right heel is raised, toes are pointed forward. Let's drop our hands to the mat. Step your foot back to three leg dog, other side, and then drop it down to meet your right foot. Take your gaze forward and you can bend at your knees. Step hop or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Gather all that air. And then exhale, hands through, heart center, hinge at your hips and fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step it back. High or you can come to your vinyasa or go to your down dog, whichever you feel. Flowing through your vinyasa and meeting at down dog. We're going to step our left foot forward this time. Wind all the way around, coming to starfish pose. Exhale, hands through, heart center, and then bring your hands to your hips. So we're going to get our waist. Toes are pointed towards the outsides of her. Actually, let's curl them in a little bit. So you're pressing the weight into the side leg edge of both feet. Toes are pointed forward. Lead with your heart and fold. Plant your left hand into the mat, and then raise your right hand up. Twist. Drop your right hand down. Left hand comes up. Twist. Bring your left hand back down, and then walk your hands over to your right foot. Let your head fall. You can wrap your hand around your shins, maybe around your ankle. Keeping your legs as straight as you can. This again is one of those things that you can use your block if you can't quite reach down low. Or shoe box. Walk your hands back to center and then as you exhale, take it over to the other side. Again, you can use your block. back to center. Bring your hands to your waist and pull with your core. Raise all the way up. Roll your hands back. We're going to interlace our fingers here. I'll do it from the side so you can see. Press through. Roll your shoulders back. You're going to keep that wide leg stance and we're going to fold again. Lead with your heart. If this is too much for you, you can grab your wrists.
and then using your core, pull yourself all the way up. Arms come up. And then we'll step it back to the front of your mat. Walk it out, arms come up. Exhale, hands through, heart center. And raise your right foot, ground through your left. I'm gonna do it from the side view so you can see. Your knee's gonna come up to your hip. So nice and square. And then press it back, right foot goes back. Balance, warrior three. You can keep your hands down to your sides, maybe bring them out for airplane. And then on your next inhale, come all the way up. Slow and control. Hands back at heart center. And exhale, take it down. Walk it out. We'll do the other side this time. Arms come up, inhale. Bring your hands to heart center as you exhale. Ground through your right foot and then inhale, raise your left knee, hip height. Exhale, kick it back. Finding your gaze, something to focus on will keep your balance. It's just a spot on the wall, maybe a light switch. Sometimes even a little bit into your knee will help with your balance. Inhale, let's bring it back up. All the way to hip height. And then exhale, take it down. Walk it out. Arms come up, inhale. Exhale. Let's fold all the way, plant our hands into the mat. We're gonna step down to our knees. Curl your toes under, come to a high plank and hold. Lower all the way down to your mat. We're gonna do a, a half frog here. So you can keep your hands into your sides Lift your right knee up. It's going to be hip height. And then your ankle and your knee is parallel, the other way. Place your left hand, or place your left cheek onto the mat. And just sit here for a moment and half frog. Finding your breath, coming back to your ujjayi breathing. If you've lost it, this is a good time to come back to center. And we're going to bring our right hand into this, our side body. So right up next to your shoulder, keeping your left arm at a T. We're just going to push through, bring your knee over and stretch. So your right foot's on the floor, on the mat, knees up, and your shoulder on the left side is extended long like that, your hand and your arm. Let's come back to center, extend your right leg long. We'll do the same thing. So your arms are going to be into your sides. Lift your left knee up to your hip height and then let your knee and your ankle go parallel. So almost like how you would sleep. Some people sleep on their belly like this. Drop your right cheek to the mat this time and then you can extend your right arm. This again is a half frog. Keeping your knee bent your left hand is into your chest. We're gonna roll onto our right shoulder, bring your foot over, and plant your left foot into the floor. Let's come back to center. Bring your right hand in, and we'll push back up to that tabletop pose. 
cross your ankles over and come to a seated position. We'll take our legs out tall for staff pose. So nice long legs, toes pointed up, spine is long, arms come up, inhale, and then exhale fold. Reaching for your toes, your shins. Another thing you can bring in is your towel. Lift halfway and then exhale, roll it. Try to get a little bit deeper. Walking it in, release your mat or your, your towel. Walk your right foot up. We're going to bring your heel as close to your right thigh as we can. Nice and tall like this. Knee is up at your chest. We're going to wrap our left elbow around. Inhale, nice tall spine, and exhale, twist. So your right hand is planting weight into the floor. Coming back to center. Raise your foot up. We're going to put our foot into our elbow crease here. So it's going to be like you're cradling a baby. Your right hand's going to come to the outside. You can interlace your fingers. Keep your spine nice and tall. And just kind of roll back and forth. You can feel this really good in your glutes, your IT band, all that area in the upper part of your thigh. Groin. And then release it down. You can bring your heel into your top of your lap, or if you're not quite there, bring it into your side. Arms are going to come up. Turn your body so that you're facing the same way as your leg. And then exhale, fold. Again, you can use your towel. Releasing it, inhale, raise up. And then I'll drop your hands. We'll switch sides. Your left leg is going to come in. Your right leg stays extended, long. Bring that heel as close to your thigh as you can. Remember, you have a nice tall spine here. We're going to wrap our elbow around our knee. And then exhale, twist. Left hand goes to the floor. center, drop your knee, bring your foot into the crease of your elbow, interlace your fingers, and just kind of cradle it back and forth, sometimes even roll it a little bit side to side, you can fill it. And then releasing your elbow, bring it to your inner thigh or the top of your thigh, whichever feels best to you today. Honor your body again. Arms come up, inhale, square to your leg, and exhale. Releasing your foot, walk your hands back up. Bring your right leg in for bound angle pose. Ubadi Kamasana, butterfly, cobbler, lots of different poses. Bring your thumbs into the insides of your feet. Bring them closer into your body. Let your knees fall out to the side. Let gravity do the work. Take a deep breath and release. Inhale, and as you exhale, bend into your elbows. Try to press into the sides of your legs. Keep your back nice and straight here, though. And 
If you want to take it another step, walk your hands forward. You'd probably be a little bit looser than you were when we first started and we did the full. And your next inhale, walk your hands back up. And we're gonna spread our legs out to the corners of our mat for a wide leg seated pose. Make sure you're sitting on your sit bone nice and tall. Arms are out. Take your right hand or your towel, wrap it around your toes or your foot. And then bring your left hand over, keep your gaze up, and then drop your hand behind your head. If that's not comfortable, you can even drop it behind your back. Inhale, bring it all the way back up. We'll switch sides. Take your strap or your towel to the other side. Wind your arm around. Gaze goes up and over. And again, you can keep your hand behind your neck, supporting your head, or drop it behind your back. Walking your hands up. We'll grab the outsides of our knees, bring them both in. Turn towards the length side of the mat. Find our boat. Arms extend. Knees come up. And you can stay here. Keep your back nice and flat. Of course, pulled in tight. If you want to extend, maybe. Grab your peace fingers to your toes, extend your legs tall, but try to keep that back flat. Exhale, release down to your mat. Your knees are bent here. We're going to extend our right leg all the way up and then cross it over your left knee. So your knees are even, arms are out to the side, bring them out to a T. And then we're just going to drop our knees over to the left side of the mat. Be mindful of your lower spine here and then take your gaze over your right shoulder. So your knees are to the left, your gaze is to the right. Inhale, let's bring everything back to center. Let's extend our right leg long and then drop it down to meet your left. We're going to do the same thing on the left side. So extend your left leg all the way up to the ceiling. And we're going to cross it over knee to knee. And then drop it to the right. Once your knees are flat to the right, you can take your gaze over your left shoulder to deepen your stretch. Raising back up to center. Inhale, raise your leg, and then exhale, take it down. Bring your, your ankles as close to your thighs as you can. We'll take our arms behind us just for a couple bridges. This is one that you can use a blanket. So 
So if you grab your blanket, or you can use a block to support, we'll do a supported bridge here. So if you don't, just whatever you can grab that's soft, you can stick it in the lower part of your back. I'm going to use a block. So we'll come down to our backs. Knees and your feet are parallel. Inhale, push through, raise your hips up off the mat. If you have a block, there's three different heights there, so you can, you can kind of work with that a little bit. A rolled up towel, a blanket, a pillow, whatever you have in your reach, just grab it. You can also do it without any kind of modification. or prop. Exhale, let's release down to our mat. Bring your knees into our chest. Give yourself a hug. Taking another deep breath. Fill your lungs. Open your mouth. Exhale, release it. And then go ahead and drop your feet back down. We'll do this one more time. Again, you can use a prop or without a prop. Palms are into the mat. Feet are pressed firmly. Inhale, raise up. If you want to take it a little bit deeper, you can interlace your fingers. Bringing them, rolling your shoulders in, and then just a deeper stretch to your shoulders. Keep your, your neck and your spine long and straight. And then release. Bringing your hands down to the side. One more big hug. And then dropping your left foot to the mat. We're going to bring your right all the way up. Cross it over into a supine pigeon. Finishing out our practice. Bring your arms out to a T. We'll twist one last time on each side. So this side first, dropping your foot over to the left side of your mat. Gaze goes over the right. bring it back to center and then extend your right leg long flexing your foot like you're trying to press through the ceiling and we're going to drop it 30 degrees another 30 and then another 30 just hovering at the 10 degree mark not ever dropping your heel to the mat Keeping your leg nice and long. Inhale, bring it all the way up. We'll do this one more time. Right foot goes down 30. Another 30. You're using your core here in the top part of your leg. Keep it nice and tight. Another 30 and hover. Inhale to center. And exhale, release it down to the mat to meet your right foot, or left foot. Other side, left foot goes up. Crossing it over your ankle to your knee, right knee, left ankle. Keeping your arms out at the T, we'll drop our left foot to the right side. Knee is up. And then gaze over your left shoulder. center and then extend your left leg up to the ceiling again we'll do the same thing so your right legs firmly pressed into the mat we'll drop our left foot 30 degrees 
and another 30. 30 more, and hold. Inhale, bring it all the way up. We'll do this one last time. Drop it for 30. Another 30. And the last 30, just hovering. Inhale, bring it all the way back up to center. And then bend your knee, exhale, release. Let's pull both of our knees into our side body. Grab the outsides of our feet coming into happy baby. And you can stay here with your knees into your side, or you can roll side to side. Another option here, if you want to come back to center, is maybe straighten one leg at a time. Pulling it in, straighten the other side. Pulling it in, maybe doing both. Lots of hip stretches today. And then releasing your feet down to the mat. Let's find our final resting pose, Shavasana. So our legs are going to extend all the way down to the end of our mat. Begin to find comfort. If you want to grab your blanket and lay your blanket over the top of you, you can do that. Let's bring our arms all the way up. Take in the biggest breath you've taken all day. Fill your lungs. Release everything from your belly. Your chest will raise. Hold that breath in. Hold it. Hold it. Until you can't hold it anymore. And then exhale, release. Let everything relax. Let your palms fall down to your sides. Maybe wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, move your head side to side. Take in one final deep breath in and exhale, release. Come back to your normal breathing pattern. Maybe close your eyes, relaxing your forehead, relaxing your jaw. Letting your tongue fall from the roof of your mouth, unclenching your teeth, letting your neck and your shoulders rest into the mat as your spine melts down into the mat as well. Taking your hips and your knees out to the sides, letting your ankles fall out to the sides as well. Coming back to your intention, focusing on within, coming back to center. Thanking yourself for practicing with me today. Go ahead and stay in this pose for the next five to 10 minutes. Give this time to yourself before you start your busy day. We'll see you guys again on Saturday for Reggae Vinyasa Flow. It's a faster flow yoga, um, a few more moves, um, breath to movement. So with each breath, we'll, we'll do a different pose in some parts of it. We will still have a cool down and a warm up. And uh, I'm just excited to see you guys there. Thank you again for allowing me to share my practice with you. Namaste.